I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Thank you for watching one of my videos and today I'm going to be exposing to you the Grand Theft Auto series and all its uh, sinful and Illuminati symbolism into it. And I have this uh, video uh, divided into four different topics and um, I'm going to be talking about the violence that this game promotes, the drugs that this game promotes, sexual morality and finally the Illuminati symbols into this game. And if you're a Christian, please do not play this game. It, it doesn't edify your faith, it doesn't bring you up, it just helps you to become a, a, a better sinner. And if you're a Christian parent, please take this game away from your children. Watch what they're playing because this is going to be a tremendous impact on your children's life. And it's not going to help them become a, a better Christian. So, let's dive into it. Violence and crime. Well, this is what your kids are playing. And here they are, they're learning how to shoot people and blow up cars and, you know, go out and join gangs and do drive-bys, as you can see here in this particular game. Um, in San Andreas, you can, you're, you're, in, you're in a gang and then you basically go around shooting people to take their turf and, and, and stuff like that. And you do drive-bys like you do, like, you know, like it would happen in real life. So this is not a good, this is not a good way for a kid at an early age to start up is growing up um, is playing these games full of drive-bys and gangs and breaking into cars so you can go out and sell it for more money you know and you know, get caught you know because getting caught is cool and, 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 and sweet and acceptable and you know people you know respect you and fear you if you've been in jail or whatever you know, this is stupidity at the highest level and this is not good for your for your kids to 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 be introduced to at an early age and another thing that um, that is a huge impact on your kids at an early age is drugs and alcohol as you can see them smoking marijuana and drinking you know on the streets because they're gangsters or whatever you know here's more drinking promoting more drunkenness and foolishness as you can see and in this game you can go out and um, you can go out and get drunk and control the character I'll you'll show you show you in a minute here so here he is he's gonna call up his friend hey let's go out and get drunk and so he's gonna go pick up his friend here he is he's picking up his friend hey let's go to the bar now So there he is. They just arrived at the bar. And they're going to have a long drink. And then there we are. Falling all over the place. Can't even walk properly. And and this is and, and you can control all of this in your in, in the game. And your kids are going to be the ones watching this go on and because it's an open world and it's a it's a it's an open world uh game so you can go out and do whatever you want. And yeah, Hey, why not? You know, why not go on take the take the wheel? Yeah, let's go drunk driving. That's that sounds like fun. That sounds like entertaining. That sounds like a a, a, a you know a kid should be uh, uh, playing. Um, it's this is a good promoter for your young children. You know, running into cars, getting chased by cops. You know, possibly running into uh, other civilians and running into poles, and then this is this is what kids find entertaining. This is what this this is the type of sinful and foolishness that your childrens are going to be finding entertaining, and and, and they're not going to want to go to church. They're not going to want to you know read the Bible. You know, the Bible is boring to them, especially when they have this in front of their eyes, right? So I would really recommend you to you Christian parents. And you Christian people too to definitely not play these games because it doesn't promote anything uh, godly. Now another thing too is yeah marijuana, as you can see right here. You know this game is a high promoter of marijuana. Yeah, this is not good for your children to start off because most kids, most young kids, they don't know what marijuana is. And if they've been taught about marijuana, is they've been taught that it's been bad. And so here they are. You know here's the the main characters who are cool and you know. Yeah, you know, gangsters, and you know they have the joint on their hands here, and 
<laughs> here they are getting taught you know these guys are cool they're they have all this money and you know they're smoking marijuana so hey I might as well smoke marijuana and hey you don't want to get caught so you might as well burn all the marijuana you know before the cops get there or whatever and let me this this in this particular game in San Andreas this is a mission you have to play and so yeah your kids are burning uh, wheat uh, fields of marijuana plants so the cops don't don't catch them that's that's always a nice that's always nice for your kids to be introduced to and hey smoking cop a police officer and uh, you know like um um a service to the community what is he doing smoking marijuana in this game this is called a bong they use this tool to smoke marijuana and there he is and in this video that's what that's what the guy is doing he's smoking marijuana with a hippie this is just a picture of it but Here's a better picture of that is, you know, here's the bong right here. And this is, you know, here he is, you know, showing the middle finger to his sister or girlfriend or whatever. Wherever she is, he's not really being re uh, really nice to her by the looks of it. But this is, wh this is what these games promote. Get high, get drunk, play video games all night. Who cares about your sisters, your parents? You know, show them the finger, you know, like you're just concentrated about your game. You can get into the next level and buy the next game or whatever. This is... This is not a good promotion for your kids. This is not this is what your kids should not be watching and playing at an early age. And if you're a Christian too, if you're a Christian guy, you're a Christian person, you shouldn't be playing this game because it doesn't help you to become to to live a, a Christian Christ life style. It helps you to just live a sinful and boring couch potato lifestyle. And I would really, really, really um recommend you to stay away from this stuff and I know I've been saying that all of throughout this whole video now another game another thing you can do in this game is hey buy heroin buy coke ecstasy acid weed downers you can buy them and you can sell them so you buy them at a cheap price and you sell them at a high price hey that's a that's a that's a good way for your uh, kids to uh, get taught anything about drugs is selling them you know like this is not good for your children and hey it's it's fine it's, hey they're having fun while they're doing well guess what they're having fun while they're getting taught to go out and drug deal and 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 rob people or whatever this is this is this is what they're doing they're having fun while they're getting taught to drug deal in this game and in this particular game it's um this this thing happens in a game called Grand Theft Auto uh, Chinatown Wars, and you get this for the PSP or the Nintendo DS. So this is um, this that's where you do all the drug dealing is in this particular game. <clears throat> now I was re I would really recommend you Christian parents to really watch what your kids are playing and what they're really getting to because here they are getting introduced to go out and have sex and and I'll show you that in a minute uh, and kill people and sell drugs and use drugs in the game and so this is not a good promoter for your children's lives um, you know this might is it might it might take down to in their in their in their social lifestyle in the future as they get older now another thing too is um this game is sexualized to the fullest ah, this game is has all types of pornography and, and sex in it um, I mean you can go out and you know pick up prostitutes and, and have sex with them and pay them to go out and yeah, have sex with them and, and whatever, and go into sex clubs, you know, as you can see, girls, 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 or whatever. This is not a good promotion for your kids. This is not what your kids should be introduced to at an early age. And yeah, you can go in there and pay, uh, pay a stripper to give you uh, a dance like you would in real life. Um, you can see the picture of the background here. This is this is what your kids should not be learning at an early age. Um, I believe your children. I, be, I believe children should be aware of this when the, when the age when the right age comes, but not through a video games because it's really gonna give you um, uh, give them a really corrupt picture on women and 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 themselves in society and so on and so forth. Now another thing I want to be talking to you about is the Illuminati symbols. As you can see, the police force right here. We see it all. We know it all. That's what the Illuminati believes. Well, I'm sorry. The Illuminati don't see it all, and they don't know it all. The only one who sees it all and knows knows it all is God, Jesus Christ, our Lord, as our High Priest in heaven. He knows it all, and He sees it all. Okay, so definitely not the Illuminati. Okay, and another thing here, and the radio station, um, 
real station in these games, you can go out and this is this is this is a, a game. This is radio station in the in the game called self actualization, and where you have a pyramid with an eye in a in a yoga position right there. Because in this uh, particular radio station, it is such a new age philosophy. It is so new age to the fullest. It just talks about becoming one with the universe and 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 be and and and. Uh, realizing your your godhood inside inside of you because that's what it's called self actualization and they and they talk about how you have a god inside of you and you can enlighten it you can bring it up by open up your third eye and and that Jesus Christ is an ascended master like Buddha Krishna and Muhammad and and um, <clears throat> and another thing too they they talk about in this uh, radio station is you know we're all going through, we have to go through this utopia we need to have this utopia in us we need to live out this utopia in us because it's going to come out in real life and that we need to preserve nature we need to protect nature and and because it's uh it's it's it, it benefits us and so forth now i won't I, I i definitely agree with that we should definitely uh take care of nature but here they're promoting it in a very um sinister way with a, a whole new different agenda behind it and here's more symbolism let's go to the internet the all-seeing eye is watching you and you already have pyramids with eyes all over this thing and let's go on to the website here we have where you going pyramids with an eye on it right pure illuminati symbolism hey let's introduce you to the game what do you have pyramids with an eye in it right so this is not a good this is not good for your children to be watching and this is not good for your children to be to be to be playing because i mean <clears throat> the whole game is sexualized it's sinful to the to the fullest they use nothing but al alcohol the radio stations are nothing but new age satanic philosophies and in these radio stations it's all promoting of sex and it's all talking about sex and 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 giving women orgies and all this weird stuff like this is not good for your children to be watching and to be listening and you christian people who are older and are playing these games i would really recommend you to not play these games at all now the final thing i want to talk about here is what does the bible have to what does the Bible have to say about all of this? You know, this that's the most important question. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a verse here in Psalms uh, 101, uh, verse three or four. He said, and the Bible says, "I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the works of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know wickedness." Now here we have it. I want to talk about this first particular. Uh, this particular um, uh, line right here I will set nothing evil nothing wicked before my eyes and let me ask you a question are you setting wicked things before your children's eyes are you setting these wicked and sinful things before your uh, eyes are you allowing your kids to go out and 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 experience and see this in their eyes as as they, as they can see it here <clears throat> Are are you as a Christian parent allowing and intolerant of your kids, uh, of watching this stuff? Are you are you are you putting evil before your children's eyes? And this is this is what I would really uh, uh, allow. Uh, I would really tell you to please allow this scripture to convict you and and to convict you of sin. Let the Holy Spirit work in your life and 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 take these games away from your children's because it's. It's brainwashing them so harshly, and and here they are introducing to sin at a very early age, and I would really recommend you as a Christian parent to please do not allow these kids to play this sinful Illuminati satanic games, because that's what they promote. And another thing here says I will not know wickedness. Well, they're getting to know all types of wickedness in these video games and they get to know how to, how to go out and have sex they get to know how to go out and use drugs and get drunk as they as i showed you they get to know how to go and shoot people and kill people and do drive-bys and take turfs from from other gang members in the city they're getting to introduce into sin at a very early age and they should be introduced into the will of god at a very early age so that may benefit them and that may bless them in their in their in their in their life's journey uh, as as they grow up to be older and as they grow up uh, as they can grow up to go and and get to know God even more this is not a good promoter and I would really 
challenge you Christians and you Christian parents to not allow your kids to play these games. And if you're a Christian guy who doesn't have any kids, I would really recommend you to please do not um, um, play these games because it's not a beneficial to your spirituality, but it's anything that's going to destroy your faith. Thank you for watching one of my videos. God bless you.